Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about postpartum ultrasound. Postpartum findings are features seen in the uterus after delivery. On the left side is a normal uterus without any recent pregnancy. This is the normal size, echo texture and shape of the uterus without any setting of pregnancy. And on the right side is a one day postpartum uterus. That is the uterus appearance one day after delivering the baby. The uterus is enlarged. By comparing it with the normal uterus, we can see it is much bigger in size. The endometrial canal can have hyperechoic bright areas. Some of these areas are due to blood clots and some hyperechoic areas can have dirty posterior shadowing. This gray shadowing indicates that there is air present in the endometrial canal. The air may last up to 3 weeks. These features are normal postpartum features in a uterus. Here is an image taken after a recent delivery. It is an early stage postpartum uterus. An enlarged uterus is seen. The inner layer of myometrium can be hyperechoic. This is another normal appearance of a postpartum uterus. This is an image of a second week postpartum uterus. It is taken at 8 days after delivery. It has decreased in size as compared to the earlier stages, but it is still enlarged. Some endometrial fluid is present. This hypoechoic area is fluid and it is due to shedding of the decidua. It is also a normal finding on ultrasound. Retained products of conception refer to retained placental tissue or fetal tissue in the uterus after a delivery or miscarriage. Mostly it is associated with a second trimester miscarriage and placenta accreta. Fever, pelvic pain and abnormal bleeding are suggestive of RPOC that is retained products of conception or endometritis. A retained placenta will appear as a hyperechoic mass in the endometrial cavity. We can see this large hyperechoic mass and the uterus is enlarged as well. This mass seen along with the clinical symptoms can help in diagnosis. This image is compared with the normal postpartum appearance of uterus. Here is another image of a retained placenta. A hyperechoic mass is seen in the endometrial canal with the patient suffering from fever, pelvic pain and abnormal bleeding. This is a transverse view of a retained placenta. We can see an enlarged uterus with a hyperechoic mass in the endometrial canal. These are transvaginal views of postpartum uterus and RPOC. Here we see some hyperechoic areas with some dirty shadowing which means there is air present. This is a normal appearance. And over here we have RPOC. There is a hyperechoic mass with calcification. This black shadowing is clean shadowing which confirms that this is a calcification. Calcified areas indicate that it is indeed a retained placenta and is helpful in diagnosis. RPOC can be classified based on Doppler analysis. This classification is called Gutenberg classification. This is type 0 RPOC. It is a hyperechoic mass without any internal vascularity. No Doppler signal is found within the mass. In type 1 RPOC, heterogeneous echoes with minimal or no vascularity are seen. We can see blood flow here. 
and some mixed echoes are seen here. In type 2 RPOC, high vascularity is seen within the hyperechoic mass. There is no blood flow seen outside this mass. Type 3 RPOC has highly vascular mass and highly vascular endometrium. Large blood flow is seen within the mass as well as in endometrium. Arteriovenous malformation is rare but can occur after a miscarriage or dilation and curettage or any uterine injury. It presents with heavy vaginal bleeding and is a serious condition. It is an abnormal connection between the arteries and the veins without a capillary bed. On ultrasound, anechoic cystic tubular areas are seen in myometrium. Here is another image showing arteriovenous malformation. Multiple cystic tubular areas are seen in the myometrium. On color Doppler, these cystic areas will be hypervascular. We will see a low resistance, high velocity flow with a resistive index between 0.2 to 0.5. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.